Hi everyone, Elisa here. Welcome back to our Appstore Optimization Academy video lesson. And today we're talking about iOS and most specifically we're talking about the keyword field. And why is it important? Well, it's super important because that's how we're going to tell Apple that your app is about this and that. And this is how people are going to find you as well. So this is a very important lesson today. And we're going to split it up in three parts. The first part is how to use the keyword field. What is the keyword field? Second part, how to find keywords from a keyword field. And the third part, tips and best practices. So let's get started. Welcome to the first part of our video lesson about keyword field. What is a keyword field and how to use it? So, wrote some stuff here, it's quite important. Apple states that 65% of apps are downloaded by search. So you do a search, you found your app and they download. That's how apps are discovered by search. So that's how important it is to, to, to choose the right keywords for your app. The keyword field has 100 characters available. So you should make use of all these 100 characters to list keywords. And if you think about for iOS, the most relevant uh, field for, for keywords is the app name followed by the subtitle and then the keyword field. But this doesn't mean that you shouldn't consider the keyword field. You should still add some very relevant keywords for your app and they should be relevant and why? Because if it's, they are not relevant, they have nothing to do with your app, you're gonna attract people that are not interested in your app and then they're gonna visit your app page and be like, oh, actually I'm not downloading it, so you're not converting and this is gonna really affect really badly your rankings. So really use the keyword field wisely and list the keywords that you couldn't fit in your app name or your subtitle, but they're still very important. So if you go over here, we have a list of do and don't about the keyword field. So, special characters, a don't. Don't use special characters because basically they just, they don't count for your, for your rankings and they just get your 100 characters space for nothing. But regarding numbers, always write with digits because then you save more space and you have more space for keywords. So instead of writing four, you can write four. Duplicates, okay, this is a big thing because it's very different from Google Play if you're used to Google Play, but for iOS, avoid duplicates. That's a big no, <laughs> I'm gonna put it back here because it doesn't influence. You're not gonna rank more because you repeat the keywords in the app name subtitle. We're just gonna burn space. So never repeat. If you use the keyword in the app name, don't repeat in the subtitle or keyword field and the same happened the other way around. Trademarks, okay. This is important topic. I would just mark like that. The only trademarks that you can use is yours, your brand, your logo. Don't use anyone else's trademark because this could be really problematic for you. Um, and Apple could penalize you and your rankings will drop. Functionality, this is a big guess, right? So you should use keywords that describe your functionality. So if your app is about running, you should use health, run, jog. You should use keywords that are very related to your app. So if it's tracking, so track, jogging, you know, you should really use list the features and use keywords, keywords that people are looking for, not like random keywords just because it's your feature, but if nobody's looking for it, don't waste your 100 characters with that. So keywords are relevant for app and the people are still using relevant and also that describes your functionalities, what you can do with your app. Commas, that's important. When you write down your keywords, you're gonna separate them by commas, that's all. No space, just commas. And also long tail keywords, uh, you should definitely use it, but you have to separate them as well. So let's give an example here. If you're using the long tail keyword diet plan, you're gonna write in the keyword field like diet comma plan. And app, the app store, it's gonna understand that you wanna rank for diet plan together. So you're gonna also rank for that. So it's not a problem. So really separate the keywords by 
comma, including the long tail keywords. Localize, that's so important. If you have your, um, if you have your app available in different uh, locales, for instance, if you have your app available in the Portugal App Store, you should definitely use keywords that are in Portuguese, right? And it's not only translating your English keywords to Portuguese, but also actually researching what people in Portugal are using to find apps like you, like yours, right? So if you already have your app localized for Brazil, that is, they also speak Portuguese, um, I wouldn't recommend you to just copy and paste the same keywords because if they still speak the same language, but they are different countries, like in different continents. So culturally speaking, they're very different and they're going to search for apps in different ways. So you cannot use the same keywords. You really have to do a, a keyword research on, on that specific locale and look for keywords. And, but usually you should definitely do that because that's how gonna, people are not looking for apps in English. If they are from Portugal, they're going to look for in Portuguese. I'm assuming not some people not, but in general, the main population is going to do that. So if you want to be successful in the Portugal market, you have to translate and get your, you have to localize and get your keywords also in Portuguese. Uh, last but not least, very important point is the keyword update. Well, you should always update your keywords and it's not like one thing you chose your keyword list. You have your 100 characters with keywords in your keyword field and that's it. That's not, that's not it. So every month, once a month, you should just really go through your keywords and move around between the app name, subtitle, keyword field, like keywords that are more relevant, that got more popular, that you're ranking better. Maybe you can move from a keyword field to the app name or keywords that are not performing that well, but they're still important. You can change from your app name to your keyword field and new competitors are showing up all the time bringing new keywords, but some keywords get very trendy, some keywords get really out of use. So you have to keep up with the market. With AppRator, of course, you can track your keyword rankings daily, and then you can go around and check out after a month, okay, now it's, let's do an update, let's move around some keywords. Maybe there's not a lot to do, but there's always one or two keywords to add or to remove. So like keywords that are not, you're not rank, ranking at all, and it's not, it's there for a while. So it's just, just like getting some space from good keywords that should just remove definitely. So keyword update, it's, a, it's app store optimization. Keyword is an ongoing process. It's never, that's it. I'm never going to touch this again. Just like your app, you're going to keep up or uh, like making it better, bringing new features, updating it, uh, fixing the bugs. So it's the same. So that's it for now. And let's move on to our next part, how to find keywords for your app. So here we are for the second part of our video that's about how to choose keywords for your app. First things first, you have to think for which keywords you would like to rank. You can brainstorm your features, brainstorm how people are describing your app. So you can check your app reviews to look for keywords in there, but you can also use some tools to figure out how to play around with the keywords and how to find new keywords. So let's move over to the computer and go on. The first thing that you have to do is analyze the keywords that you, you're you already using in. And we're gonna focus only in our um, keyword field. So you can see here that we have duplicates in, your, in our name in our subtitle. So how to decide if we wanna keep these keywords here or on the other fields. So what is duplicate? Floppy. Flappy is on our subtitle. We can check here how good is our ranking. So we are in the 35th and actually we dropped rankings and we have a good search volume and difficulty for this keyword. So we should definitely keep this keyword in our subtitle because it's a good keyword and we want um, to hang, rank higher for it. So we can remove the duplicate from our keyword field. Second one is new. New is in our title. So let's check it out here with the new keyword. So we see here that new adventures, we are ranking at least for a new adventures in the 42nd place, but nobody's searching for this keyword. So it's kind of a waste of space in our app name. If you want to keep this new keyword there, Maybe to rank, start ranking for a new game that we 
and not ranking yet or for new bird then we i would keep this keyword and save the app name for more uh, another important keyword so i would remove from here and then we can check it out next time maybe we're going to start ranking for a new game and then we can add to the app name again or to the subtitle but because now we are not uh, ranking for it that high and also the search volume is not that good I, it's a waste of space to leave in the app name that's why for now let's keep only on the keyword field so if we save here we're gonna see that we don't have duplicates anymore just a couple of seconds perfect so let's focus here we still have seven characters left and we should definitely use space and so how to to find keywords to choose keywords of course we can come here to our tracked keywords and check keywords with a good search volume that we already ranking for instance mega this is a keyword that we might consider duck we already have here and has also and the other ones are here we're not ranking another way to find keywords is actually going to your keyword rankings and checking if there is a keyword here that has a good search volume and that you're already ranking and that you're not targeting it that you don't have any keyword field we can so we can see here in the rankings and keywords that we are ranking like magazine keyword again as we saw that we are ranking for it we're not using it at all the search volume it's actually uh, good really good and the difficulty is acceptable but we can also check our competitors maybe our competitors have some uh, good keywords they're ranking for that we also want to rank so we can always check out we can also try to find keyword combinations maybe with the keyword mega maybe we can check it out if there's some good suggestion because we're already ranking for it and it has search volume good search volume difficulty level 2k and also it can we can combine and we can have mega game mega games mega birds so this is definitely a keyword that you could use it in your metadata and we have space for it because now we remove the duplicates so when we come here we can actually add we have space we still have seven characters left so we can add mega we have three characters for its app title so you can definitely check in the rankings if there is another keyword, go over your competitors and check out if there are some possibilities that we can use. For instance, we, we see here CMG, for instance, that we are not using and it has good search volume and a good difficulty level if it applies for, for your app, of course. So this is how you can look for keywords usually always check already what you're ranking for and see if your ranking is dropping for the keywords that you want to to be strong on it so you can improve on your app name or your subtitle but also new keywords that your competitors are using and also keywords that you're ranking for and that you didn't even know so you can even improve them more all right let's move on to our last part of this video that's basically just reinforcing some very important uh, topics that we talk throughout this video don't use plural well this is a very sophisticated and smart algorithm so if you wrote the keyword apple it's gonna understand that you also want to rank for apples so save space and don't add both keywords just choose one and that's enough separate keywords with the comma as we talked before you can just write keyword comma keyword you don't need to write keyword comma space keyword then you save some space and you can write more keywords because you save some characters right avoid duplicate that's very important this i think one of the biggest things here you just need to write the keyword once in one field then apple is going to understand that you want to rank for the keyword it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you repeat you're not going to rank more because you are repeating the keyword so really don't waste space save characters and don't add keywords that you already added to other fields track your keyword rankings your rankings are going to change this is very dynamic so really track your rankings uh, with AppRater. you can get just your summary of your rankings every day and then you can fast react okay if your rankings drop for really important keywords you can react but then check your competitors maybe they started ranking for a keyword that is very important for you and they're not ranking yet so you can use 
your fields or play around with your metadata for keywords that are very important that they were ranking not that well and then you move to the app name or keywords that are not ranking at all and you can remove or you can put to the add to the keyword field so really track your rankings constantly <laughs> Right, that's it for today i hope you guys liked this video that really managed to learn more about the keyword field if you want to get more detailed information you can read this article also if you want to try it out app reader like i used today you can start a seven day trial you can create your free account and just check it out so i'm looking forward to our next class uh yeah see you next time bye